Today I'll be teaching you how to make these buttons, baby shower buttons. For this you will need foam board. I cut it into little circles. You're going to need these um, one inch bar pins, a pen, scissors, felt, a piece of felt, your glue gun, <clears throat> and assorted ribbons. So let's get started. Right here, I am tracing around the foam board disc. Discs. <laughs> I will now proceed to cut out the circles. I am cutting the circles. Make sure that they're the size of the disc, which if you trace it, there should be no problem at all. Now I am going to start gluing strips of ribbon, pieces of ribbon, long ribbon, that are going to hang on the bottom of the button. And you can place them any way you like. You could use any color you would like. It's up to you. Right here I'm placing them next to each other, trying to overlap them just a little bit. You can add as many as you would like. And I am doing the woodland theme, so I am using these colors, green, brown, um, cream, and orange. I'm going to add another piece of cream ribbon. And now I'm going to start adding the pieces of ribbon that are a little thicker. And I'm making loops. First, I glue it onto the disc. Then I glue the ribbon onto itself. And I'm going to keep doing this all around. I used, I believe, eight, of, eight pieces for this. I guess the loops, the, how long they are, it depends on how you want it. If you want it a little bit smaller, if you want it a little bit bigger. And this is what I'm doing. I overlap them a little bit because I don't want the white back to show, the white um, foam disc to show through. So I'm trying to overlap them a little bit. Now I'm gonna put glue on the back of this little owl circle which by the way it's um this I got at Hobby Lobby and they are cupcake picks I believe they're called and I just cut off the part that has the toothpick on it okay now I'm putting glue on the back of the button and I'm gluing on the felt circle that's the part of the button that's going to go towards the clothing of the person that's wearing it. All right, so now I'm making another pin and this one has, um, this one also has the brown ribbon on it. So basically I'm doing two green loops, one brown loop in the middle. And I'll just keep doing that all around. I am using a pen once in a while to... Um, press down on these ribbons because I don't want to burn my finger. I burned my finger once though. <laughs> so I keep doing that. Just green, green, brown in the middle. Another green, brown in the middle. And I keep doing that. Now I am going to add the bottom pieces, the uh, thin ribbons that hang and this time I am overlapping them a little bit more because I want to add a little bit more ribbons This is going to be the pin for the mom um, For the pregnant girl <laughs> The previous pin was for their for the daughter 
and I'm thinking maybe of making one for the dad as well, but I'm not sure if I'll make that or if I'll make him a tie or if I won't make him anything at all. I'm not sure. Okay, so I am adding the orange. I'm gonna add another orange just to give it a little pops of color. Okay, now I'm gonna add the green loop on top of that. And I just keep doing that, adding loops and more loops and yeah. There we go. Another green loop. glue it onto itself now I'm gonna add the brown loops in the middle and it's really really easy to make I made that this morning I woke up nice and early and started crafting Alrighty, so um, basically I added three brown ribbons all at once and then I'm gonna glue the ends <laughs> actually it was four hmm. doesn't it look like a flower all right Okay, so I am pushing it down with the pen, like I said before, so I don't burn my fingers. Especially on those thin ribbons, it's really easy to burn your fingers. Okay. The ribbons are done. Now I am gluing the back of the fox disc. Alrighty. And the front is done now I'm turning it around I'm gonna put glue on the back of the disc and I'm gonna glue on the felt piece as I did with the previous one and that is it for gluing this now I am going to add the bar pin and these are kind of small but that's all I had in hand and I didn't feel like buying more um, if you could find longer ones, it would be better, I think. These are one inch. I added glue to the back of the pin. And then I put it on the felt piece. And now I'm adding glue to the front of it. Don't forget to open it up because you don't want to glue it shut. So that's it. That's how I made these pins. So that's how I made these pins. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button so you, that you can get notified every time that I upload. Thanks for watching. Bye.